So to try and diagnose your actuator, to try and understand how to do that, you need to know what it does. Basically, it's an electric motor that's operating a cam, and it's basically going to shift this little arm back and forth. And that's what's going to shift your transmission from spin to agitate. Now, one of the other components of this actuator is this little part right here. And it's a sensor. And what it does is this piece actually is going to be inserted into the side of your transmission and it's going to read a little stripe on a pulley inside the transmission. This tells the control board what direction it's going in and how fast. So without that information, the board gets confused and you start to get error codes and you'll get shifts that aren't happening at the right time. You may even be getting some grinding noise. Sometimes you'll actually get some dirt and debris covering this clear plastic and it's just basically covering the sensors so the board again does not know what the washer is doing and you'll get error codes. So if you take your actuator down for a problem you're maybe having, just clean that up so it's nice and clear again, put it back in and try it and that may solve your problem. If it doesn't, then you're going to be able to just do a continuity check that we're going to show you here on how to check to see if the motor has a circuit in it and as well as there'll be one other set of contacts that we'll be able to see as far as its position. Other than that, the only other way you can diagnose your, your actuator is to run it through diagnostics on your control board. And if you have the information on how to run that diagnostics, great. If you don't, you may actually have to have a service person come in and do that for you. So we're going to want to use our multimeter. We're going to want to have it set on continuity so that it'll give us an audible sound. So if we have a completed circuit, and I'll demonstrate that with touching our probes together, you'll see the needle will swing over as well as you'll hear an audible sound. So what our goal is, is when we check the wires going in and out of our motor, we see the same thing happen. Now I have already done this, so I know that it's these two wires for my motor. So that motor shows good. If I was to have done that same test and there was no deflection and no sound, then I know this motor was bad. There's also another set of contacts that are normally closed in this position. And you'll see that we're getting a deflection, but we're not getting um, any audible sound. And that's just because of the resistance of the connection is high enough to the sensor that it won't allow that signal to come. But we do have continuity, the needle deflecting shows us that. So that's all the testing we can do on your actuator. Otherwise you need to run it through your diagnostics, through your control board. But you'll need that information to know what to do. And as far as which leads you need to check, as to which wires are going into your actuator that you want to check for your motor, you'll have to refer to your wiring diagram.